you. Uh, give us an update on what's happening there. It's a huge inconvenience. Uh, does it look like power will be restored soon? And what are the residents saying? A very good afternoon to you, Natasha. Yes, a huge inconvenience, particularly to residents. Just to give you a sense of where we are at this point in time, we are inside the Rhinefield substation. This is where one of two um, uh, uh, explosions happened. Um, and currently, uh, there's technicians in place here who are assessing um, the damage. A lot of um, investigations, parallel investigations, are taking place at this juncture. When we arrived earlier, people were, were cleaning the scene, trying to remove all the damaged pieces that exploded within the substation. And a short while ago, um, we saw a lot of um, contractors, you know, coming here, working, um, trying to assess where the explosion exactly took place. So um, a lot of work is taking place here to restore power. What we do understand is that it will still be some time before power is, is, is restored to several parts that have, have, have blackouts as a result of, of this explosion. But just to give us a sense of, of contingency plans, to give us a sense of, of what um, Ikuruleni um, authorities are doing, I'm now joined by the, the mayor of Ikuruleni. Um, thanks for joining us, mayor. Um, just give us a sense of uh, what is currently taking place within the substation and surrounding areas. In actual fact, it's important to clarify that the main subs substation remains intact. A transformer caught fire and affecting the, uh, the surrounding many structures. And uh, the amount of work, the amount of damage has affected a number of areas like Ebutse, North Mead, Moore Hill, and uh, Pat Fontaine, Brentwood, Crystal Park. We anticipate that restoration will take between three to five days. It's quite a heavy type of work, but there is a possibility if things get cleared on time, there will be an attempt of load shedding using the existing excess capacity. How will that actually make an impact? It will only be clear when the whole issue, the rubble and everything, is removed. Because they still have to clear the entire space so that they can actually be able to trace the possibility of the source. May you know, I think what is very important is the, the man in the street. They want to know when more power will be restored. What, what, what do we have in terms of time frames? I know that we are told something like it could take five days. There's an idea to share power also. The yes. ones that have the contingency measures that are in place, talk to us about that. That's what I'm saying. Once the, the damage area is cleared, the opportunity for improving stabilization will lead to a situation where, where we have excess capacity. It is actually used for sharing rotation of power, either sharing or rotation of power. But the engineers will be able to reach a specific determination when all these things are cleared. But I'm saying restoration in terms of the advice we got from engineers is between three to five days. Mayor, do we, are we able to pinpoint what caused the, one of the two transformers to explode? Um, we, 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 we understand this talk of an electrical failure or fire. But it, Engineers have not reached that determination at this point in time. That's why you hear them clearing all the damaged structures. Once all those are done, they will use their technical skills to assess that. But for now, no one is yet ready to give you reliable information. And there you have it, Natasha and um, Ikulini Mayor, saying that it's going to take some time before power is restored to large parts of Benoni. We understand that two... Two, one transformer exploded in this very substation. There's a heavy stench of electricity hanging in the area. So um, a lot of hard work um, before we could see um, a normal type of situation um, returning to Benoni, Natasha. All right, thank you, Gillian, very much. Uh, our reporter, Gillian Pillay, live there from Benoni with Executive Mayor of Ekuleni Mondli Gugumbe.